Hello people! In this video I'm gonna tell you about weekly activities or at least the ones I recommend you to do. This is basically on only my opinion so this isn't the must-do list only what I think you should do. Every week there is gonna there are gonna be this quest right here we're near this Huntsman Maran as you can see here right here. You can press all go to your weekly activity and you will find this event here bounty hunter this is it basically i did video about this uh, this is uh, soul crystals quest you will get five second level soul crystals so if you don't have a lot of those you would like to do this uh, also you can check all <coughs> uh, weekly activities right here to see which one you want to do of course you would like to do this quest right here called uh, Fortune Egg th that uh, appears only at Saturday and Sunday you will get quite a bit of experience from it as you can see here it is <coughs> you would also like uh, to do okay so, sorry right here is do, 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 do. where is it okay here it is fairy fun land it appears at Saturday and Tuesday so you would definitely want to do this one of course <coughs> uh, those activities that are available only once a week like Deathmatch or Nine Fold Assault right here or Star Shattered Island uh, I think it's on Thursday if I'm not mistaken yeah right here those are recommended to do either Things like Shifty Dodge, Evolution Day, Wind Catcher, Discop, well, you can do them, but you can ignore them also. It's not that important, my personal opinion. <coughs> of course, you would like to uh, at, at least once finish Battleground, because there is a, a week, uh, weekly quest with Battleground that's available right here from this NPC. It gives you a lot of experience and also a few PvP stones, if I have, or the app, these ones. PvP marks, I mean. <coughs> Another really important weekly activity that you must certainly do is from order. It's uh, to fill this bar right here, as you can see. And from 500, 850 and 1000 uh, Demon Slayer points or Merit Demon Slayer points, you will get a reward, three chests. As you can see, wh when I hover like this, you can see what I will get for it. So, to do this, all you need to do is uh, finish your daily token quests, one weekly quest, and you are set to go. This weekly quest <coughs> is uh, a little bit harder, but it's also pretty much doable. So, this one you have to fill too. This is another weekly activity that gives you a lot. I won't go into... PvP, this is actually optional, you can do this, you may not do this, it takes quite a bit of time to actually finish this, you can, you have to f uh, clear test at all uh, and do all types of PvP activity to finish this. Now, another really important activity that you have to do is dungeons, mainly uh, expert level dungeons, uh, because they have weekly limit for example, one of those dungeons that you certainly should do at least once a week <coughs> is Tower of Pain. Because while doing Tower of Pain challenge, as you can see, <coughs> you have th three enters a week. You have to do it at least once to get uh, this leaf here and uh, roll the dice with what uh, what tablet you will get. Oh, not tablet, I'm sorry, talisman. And of course, all expert level dungeons like Grand Bulwark, if you need gear, uh, 50, 50 plus golden gear or deserted shrine, if you need uh, 45 plus golden gear or Mech Citadel, if you need already 60 plus golden gear or even later one dungeon called uh, Eternal Chasm, yes, this one. But <coughs> if you don't need 30 plus golden gear, so you think you don't want to go to deserted shrine, there is good reason to go to expert mode even if you don't need it and this reason is demon slayer points uh, for clearing expert level dungeons you will get quite a bit of demon slayer points as you can see i got 
only 8,000 points this week, but I can have 30,000. So, that's because I didn't finish any expert level dungeons and I wasted a lot of time. So, if I want to catch up, I will need to clear my mm, desert level, desert uh, shrine dungeon and expert level at least three times. Yep. Okay, this is about dungeons. I think I covered another daily, uh, weekly activity that you would like to do. Not f so, it's gonna be. Ju -ju 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 -ju. Yeah, I think it's gonna be th this one. Here it is. <clears throat> you need to go to this grocer called, called uh, Borferzur. And there is few items that you can buy weekly. Like this large level badge gift. As you can see, it costs Demon Slayer points. And this badge fragment. <clears throat> you will get this Guardian Shop Room uh, when you finish your weekly event. From this reward for 1000 merit you will get uh, a chest in which you will find yourself guardian shop runes. So you can buy these uh, uh, badges either from here or, or from here. As you can see from Borfin Non, you also can buy a badge gift and fragment with imperial coins. Of course they are located here is for army coins and here is the NPC for Demon Slayer points. Now, another uh, thing that I highly recommend you to do is faction quests. At least uh, enough for you to buy ascension stones. <clears throat> Let me show you this. Here we go. <clears throat> if you are as lazy as me and you uh, don't uh, finish all uh, activities the, your daily activities, you will have a lot of uh, Ascension Essence uh, left for you to use. Uh, each faction can sell you two Ascension Essence a week. You, it's super easy to actually farm them. As you can see, they cost uh, 50 of uh, currency of each faction. For example, like this one, Tide Water. So you take these quests. Let me show you where you get them. Like, for example, this one. You go to this page and this uh, tab right here, famous across four seas. You go here, like I'm, I did, and you finish this quest. Okay, there are nine factions that you can do this weekly quest with. <clears throat> so in total you can get 18 Ascension Essences a week with this. It will take you about uh, three to four hours to actually finish all nine factions. So it's super easy and it gave, gives you a lot of experience. Let me show you all these factions. It's Sulan, it's Falmari, it's Haifayen, <laughs> basically mushrooms, it's Tidewater. In Snow Pine it's all the three, Ulsir, Vingar, Snow Pine, Reach. Uh, next, this one you won't be able to do. This one you can do also Northern Wolf. This one I, I, you can do either. Immortal Annex you can also do. This is a, a bit tricky, but you can also do this. This will be tenth faction which you can uh, work with and get another two Ascension Essences. So, but uh, it's quite uh, hard because uh, to get this uh, currency in faction uh, you will need to farm Tower of Pain. Uh, there, are, there isn't any Ascension Essence from any of this faction, so this is it. This is nine faction that I was talking about. When, well, basically this is it, guys. This is all activities that I recommend you to do. Get your Ascension Essence from here. Or you will also get seven from, da from daily tokens. You can also get seven from Desi Atoll. This is already, uh, as you can probably count, 34 at least Ascension Essences. You can also get quite a bit of Essences from uh, Trial of Four Kings if you do them daily. And uh, tons of other stuff. But it ain't that important. <coughs> so I think I covered everything. Of course, Guild Wars are important and uh, you should uh, participate in them if you like mass mass PvP, which I personally hate. And I find any, any PvP with more than 100 people ridiculous and stupid. But, well, it's just me. 
See you later, guys. Subscribe to my channel, and this is it for the for today, or well, at least for now. This is this was my weekly to do list. See you later.